Hi, I'm Chris Bryce with SuperService.com. I'd like to talk to you about how to restrict access to a wireless network. The first thing to keep in mind with your wireless network is we need to make sure and get the IP address or the website address for the web-based configuration program that will change the settings on that wireless router. Now for Netgear routers or newer Netgear routers, that address is going to be www.routerlogin.net. But for most other routers out there, it's going to be an IP address based web page. Now that IP address normally is 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. Now once you get to the router configuration page, some routers make you enter in a username and password right away just upon entering the page. Other routers, like the one that we're going to show in the example, make sure that you enter in a username and password only when you're actually going to change a setting or change a configuration. For this router, we're going to be going to 192.168.1.15. Once we get to the configuration page, we're going to select configuration from the top and then go down to wireless and wireless security. Here, we're going to select the type of wireless security that's going to be used. I always recommend using WEP encryption. So we're going to select WEP and then below that we'll enter in a key or passphrase that's going to be used to access the wireless network. On this example we're going to use 12345. This can be a 5 to 10 digit password or passphrase or if you use 64 bit or if you use 128 bit encryption which is a tougher security measure then you'll use either a 13 or 26 digit passphrase or key. Once you enter this in we're going to hit save and then it may ask for that username and password. Once you've saved it, you're then going to go and restart the router or it may restart automatically in most cases. Then the next time you want to connect to that wireless network, it's going to ask you for that same passphrase or key that you entered in a minute ago and you'll be able to connect and restrict access to that wireless network.